Good morning. I have about another 15 minutes or so before I need to log in to work. So I thought I would work some more on these bricks. I really need to go through these. These are the ones that came out of that box that's got a lot of scratched and abrasion marks and just really bad Lego in it. So I really have to look at these close before I can put them in there. The good news is we've already had three Lego orders this month, which compared to last month is pretty good. So these two came in yesterday, so I'm gonna get those in the mail today. That makes me very happy because last month I didn't have that many at the beginning of the month. So it's starting out okay, which is always pleasant. I am going to try to spend a little bit more time on inventory. My husband has been working on minifigures and getting some minifigures and minifigure parts into inventory. That will hopefully start bringing some more people in. So I've been pretty busy today. I decided to get this cart from Joann's. I saw some people online that were using it for sorting. They were also putting the big plates on here with minifig torsos and heads so that they would be easier to find. And that was originally why I bought this, but then I realized these trays all come off and I thought this would be great for sorting. So I'm gonna use this for sorting for a while, see how it works, and if it doesn't, then we will use it to store some of the minifigure body parts, which we have in inventory and free up a couple of the shelves that we have. The other thing I've been working on quite a bit lately is the blue Volkswagen bus. I started this probably earlier in the week or maybe last week, and I've just been working on it here and there, and it's been a really easy build, so it's been a lot of fun. And as you can see, I'm pretty much done with it. I think I have like maybe a bag and a half left of parts, and then that will be done. The other thing I've been doing is getting some little sets into eBay. I put in two this morning, I put in a creator set and another of the Chima Tribe packs. And I'm working on this one now. These are really easy to get together and make sure I have all the parts, take pictures, get them taken apart and get them on eBay. So I have one more of these that I'm gonna try to get on either today or tomorrow. I am hoping to get to inventory at some point today. I was really hoping to get to it by now, but I had to run errands, and now I found out I have to go pick up my grandson from school and take him home, so I'm not getting as much time out in my shop as I wanted, but at least I am getting some stuff done. Good morning, it's about quarter to eight here and I've been out here for a little while getting some other stuff done, but now I'm ready to jump into working on Lego stuff for my business today. My husband is out of town, so this gives me the whole day to just focus on the business, which I'm hoping to do. That was my hope yesterday too, but it didn't work out that way. <laughs> I did manage to get about 500 parts uploaded last night. In fact, it was 534 parts in 100 lots. And I was pleased because the plates are in a lot better shape than the bricks were that I was working on out of this eBay win. And there were a couple of good plates. You know, like I keep saying, anything over a dollar is awesome. And there was a plate worth $2 and one worth almost $1.50. So that was a pretty good find. So I'm going to be working on these at some point today. These are some more plates I already have sorted out. These are sorted out by two by four, two by three, and the two by twos. So I'm gonna work on these. I still need to edit and upload my food for thought video. So I'm gonna work on that today as well. But I did wanna show you the cart that I bought all put together. Right now I'm just using it for stuff that I'm going to be putting on eBay. I am going to put a couple more of these sets on. A couple of these are already done. I have the boxes but I'm just going to throw those out. So I'm going to work on these today as well and get these on eBay because we were down to just three items in our eBay store and 
you can't sell it if it's not in there. So that's what I'm going to be working on. But I have these Chima sets. There's also some miscellaneous Chima minifigs that I'm going to have my husband double check and get into inventory. But there's two more sets there to do. And then we have a tray that has a whole bunch of minifigs. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put those in my Bricklink store or eBay. I might do half and half just to see because we really haven't sold that many minifigs on eBay. But we also don't have that many in our store. I do have a Batman set that I need to put together. And this one I'm really hesitant about doing because there's actually new parts in there. It was the bags have been opened. A couple of the parts were missing but I don't want to put it together because then those parts aren't new anymore. I don't know what to do, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if I want to put it together, take pictures, and then post it as a used set, or if I want to grab a picture off the internet and say all the parts are there, these are the new ones, these are the used ones. I'm not sure yet. I'm still going back and forth on what exactly I want to do with this one. And then the last tray is one that I have put together. I was going to take pictures of it, but realized I'm missing two or three parts. So I need to order those parts and get this together. But it just makes me mad because the parts I need to order, I did have in stock. I just didn't realize I needed them for this set. <laughs> So that's all the stuff I'm going to be working on today. If I get enough done and there's enough progress, I might do some little update videos throughout the day, but I'm not sure. Yesterday I had plans to just focus on the business and ended up having to run errands a couple of times and do some other stuff. So I'm hopeful that today I can focus, but we'll see. Good morning. I was able to get a few more things done yesterday. I did do another small upload of 455 parts in 120 lots. There wasn't anything too high in value in that lot, but it at least added to my inventory. I also got a couple more items posted for our eBay store. I do have one more to add to that, which I will probably do today. And then I have a container I need to go through to see what I have in there that can also be listed on eBay. But this morning, since I'm not feeling very focused or anything, I think I'm just gonna turn on some bad TV and continue to put some parts into brick store. Right now I'm working on some modified bricks so I'm going to get these added plus I have all of those and we'll see if we can't do another upload today. Over the weekend I put these two items in eBay and I put this one in my Bricklink store and I have sold all three of those to different people but I'm going to work on these this morning. I'm very excited because I was wondering how long these were going to sit in my eBay store and this is kind of making me think that maybe I should start to put some more minifigs in our eBay store. I haven't been doing it because it's very time consuming for me because I don't know what I'm doing. And I may reconsider that and start putting more of these in my store. But I'm going to work on these this morning, but I did want to show you what I have been working on the last couple of days. So yesterday I was able to get my van finished. I worked on this the last two or three weeks off and on and was able to get it done. I really love the look of this and it's going to go up on the shelf next to the red van and the blue beetle that I have. But I really do like this. It was a really easy build except for maybe this part here. But other than that, I really enjoyed it. And then because I got this done, I decided to work on my bonsai tree. I didn't know how long this would take me, but it really only took me an hour or so to put together. And this was another easy build. And again, love the way it looks. 
And since I have those done, I am now working on the friend's apartment and I was able to get this little tiny piece done last night before dinner. <laughs> As you can see, I'm working on these little dots. I've almost got these done, and once these are done, then I'm gonna be working on modified plates, which I think is what I'm gonna work on today. But I also have these sets that I would like to go through and make sure I have all the parts for, take pictures, and get these uploaded to eBay. I was thinking about it this morning. I really want to get a whole bunch of sets into eBay as we get closer to Christmas because people may be wanting to buy some sets for Christmas gifts. So I have these. These are cars and tractors. And then down below I have more cars and airplanes that I need to do as well. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. I should do a video, but I just cannot think of a subject for a video. I have some ideas, but they're pretty elaborate and I just don't really have the time or energy to do those type of videos today. So maybe I'll think of something and film something this afternoon. If not, I will be working on inventory. So these are two three-in-one sets I was going to put on eBay. I was going to rebuild them into the primary build on each of these, but then I realized I'm missing parts, which is a little frustrating because these are my kits. <laughs> but I think what happened was when I first started my store, I built them into one of the smaller builds and came across the extra parts and probably just put them in my inventory, not realizing what they were for. Now I have pulled a bunch of the parts out of my own inventory, but I'm still missing a few parts. I went ahead and placed an order this morning so that I could get some of the parts for these, but also to get a window I need for an old Western set because I would like to get that up on eBay as well. I do have a couple of other sets, I think maybe six or eight more sets, these small creator three-in-ones that I'm going to work on today to see if I have all the parts and if I can get those uploaded into eBay. Some of these smaller ones like these two here, I was going to do as one lot. Some of them that are a little bit more expensive, I will sell individually. But that is what I'm going to be working on today. That along with a 300 plus part order. Very excited about that since it's been really slow the last couple of months, but I did upload 1200 parts yesterday. So getting a 300 part order really makes me motivated to continue adding parts. Today I'm doing a little bit of reorganizing. As you can see, I have three completed sets that are taking up one of the tables we use to work on orders and I need to do something with these. So my shop is in shambles. <laughs> I had to move stuff away from the shelving unit. I am making a space down here for my son's sets. The sets that were down here are now over on that tray. It's the Arctic set from a couple of years ago. So I'm gonna take those apart. I'm not ready to sell those, so I'm just gonna take them apart and store them for now because I have everything except the ship that goes with it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not ready to get rid of those. Those will be put away. And since I moved stuff down from here, down to here, I'm going to move those down to here so that I can put the friend set up here. I'm hoping there'll be enough room for Big Bang as well, but I don't know. I'm already running out of space because I want to keep the TV shows together. I might move a couple of these houses over to the shelf over here and move Big Bang where those are. And then I'm also in the process of all of that. I have these little drawers here that I realized will fit nicely right above the stack on. So I'm going to put two more above these two and get them numbered so I have a little bit more space. So everything's in shambles right now, but I'm hoping that I can get stuff moved around and I will be able to 
clear off this table. And while all that's gonna be nice, I do have another set I'm working on over here. I'm working on the hotel. And at some point I will have to find room on those shelves for the hotel too. So although I'm not getting anything done for the business, I am trying to get organized for the business by getting things put away. <laughs> okay, I think I have these as good as it's gonna get for now. I was able to get the friend's apartment on there next to the central perk, plus my big bang with a little bit of space left over. I ended up still splitting up my RV park into two different spots. And I have all my sunsets at the bottom now. I have to say as much as I love this set, it's just a, a I don't know, it's just an awkward use of space <laughs> when it comes to Lego. And I'm really not sure how long I will keep this set together. It may even be that I will take it apart before Christmas and maybe give it to my sister-in-law who is a huge Friends fan and let her deal with it <laughs> because it's just, it's very awkward and as much as I love it, I'm not as big of a Friends fan as I am Big Bang, <laughs> so that's staying. So we'll have to see what I'm gonna do with that. I did get the extra containers up on top of the stack on, so that will give me a little bit more space to expand. Moved one of the sets to that shelf and then moved the van over here. So everything is pretty much off my table except for the bonsai tree. And I really love this build, so I'm going to see if I can't find a special place for that because it's really pretty and it's really not that big. It doesn't take up a lot of space. We are almost halfway through the month and this is my first vlog video of the month, I believe. Just to give you a quick overview of what's going on, I am in the process of finishing up these inverted slopes and I am trying to get the plates somewhat sorted so I can put those in as well. I do have two orders this morning. I have this small one that I should be able to get done before I go off to work and be able to start on the other one. If not, I might be able to talk my husband into pulling that one so I can process it tonight after work. I have a crafting club I'm going to this evening so I probably won't spend much time out here in the shop. The other thing I've been kind of working on off and on is I am working on the hotel for my modular buildings. I am still working on the first floor. I'm loving all the details. I think that's why I like doing these modular buildings so much is because of the detail they put in it and the use of parts as you wouldn't normally use them <laughs> because I love the fact that they used a little whip right here for part of the railing and just things like that that really make it stand out. So I'm having a lot of fun with this build. My plan for the week is hopefully to just slowly work on getting parts into inventory and trying not to worry about sales or how things are going just do this more as a hobby like when I first started and see how I feel about things at the end of the week. Yesterday I was actually fairly busy with the Lego. I got quite a bit done. I think I uploaded twice yesterday. There were small uploads but getting a little bit in the inventory is better than not getting any. I am working on one of my eBay auctions. Right now I'm working on slopes and then I'm gonna move on to the axles and then the pins as well. I'm gonna work on that today. I do have a couple of other little things I need to get done. Plus I had an eBay order, so I need to get that ready. I had two really good size orders yesterday, so this month is going okay. <laughs> Still not great, but maybe as good as last month. So my plan today is to get that eBay order ready. I have to finish up one of the two orders that came in yesterday and I wanna work on this inventory. So I will see how much I can get done today. 
I have not been doing very many of these videos because I really haven't been doing a whole lot with inventory. It's been another rough month for my mom, so I've been spending quite a bit of time with her. I did get some more parts uploaded. I put in 235 parts in 100 lots for $39. The great find in that one were these black Technic axle pins, and there was eight of them, and they're over $2 each. So that was really cool. And then there was a bunch of other little parts in there as well. Since I did that upload, the next thing I'm gonna be working on is some more of the axles and pins and getting those into inventory. But before I do that, I was going through some parts that we bought over the summer. My husband actually bought these at a garage sale and there was quite a few of them but he told me the other day he didn't have any more minifigs to work on so I went ahead and pulled out all the minifigs and there was quite a few incomplete minifigs with body parts and those sort of things so I'm going to be giving these to him. I'm going to see if maybe I can't talk him into doing a video on how he sorts them. I've had quite a few people ask me what my husband does to get them sorted and into inventory. So I'm hoping to do a video on that. I agreed I wouldn't show his face. Hopefully I can at least film over his shoulder as he does the various steps in getting those into inventory. I still have a little bit more than I'm going through. Since I was pulling out all the minifig parts, I decided I would go ahead and break apart all the things that were stuck together. I still have this to sort through and these to break apart. I have quite a bit to do to finish this up. This little stuff seems to take forever. And then I will move on to adding things into inventory. Just a quick recap of the last two months. In both October and November, I had 11 orders each. And you can see that November ended up being a lot better than October because we did have a really big order the last day of the month in November, which really helped with the sales. This does not include the eBay sales that we had in October and November. This is just the Bricklink sales. So last month was a little bit better. In fact, it was the best it's been since August. Although December's starting out slow, we'll have to see how things go.